Hey everyone. Uh, so you're probably at the part that I was in the ra in Raft, where you have to build yourself a, a computer, basically, and with that computer position aerials. And for some reason, you probably done what I've done and built a stupid tower, placed the aerial on it, and the computer is like higher altitude. And if you're anything like me, you keep building up. And that's not what you have to do. So I've gone into a creative world, and I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. You can even go into the creative world yourself to just to test this and have an understanding um, of how to do it. So I'm going to build a basic raft uh, for the purposes of showing this. You don't need a tremendous amount of equipment, that's the good part. You will likely need to make yourself some extra batteries. As from experience trying to go there in the creative world, I might add, it took me about two to three batteries. And you need to be stocked up, of course. So, uh, this is probably a pretty good sized raft now. So what I'm going to do is basically build a raised floor. You don't need to build a staircase, because with a raised floor, you can hop up. Anyway, uh, in the creative world, the shark doesn't attack you, so I can kind of get away with being a bit uh, silly with my building. Hey, so you're probably back now. So I've raised this by two levels, which I'll demonstrate in a second. And this is essentially the minimum altitude required for everything, believe it or not. So you want to have something that doesn't look as stupid as mine, but let's just say it's like that. So there's the water, two levels up, and a raised platform of some description to get up there. Um, doesn't really have to exactly look like this, it just needs to follow its basic design. So, in order to get the antenna, we need three of these. One receiver, and you're likely going to need multiple batteries. I'm just going to craft one for the sake of the video. So you'll put this in one corner of the raft. And you'll put the battery in. Now, you need to connect antenna 1, antenna 2, and antenna 3. So, it's roughly about 3 to 4 blocks across, so if you consider 1, 2, 3, 4, that is, that is right. And then you need 1, 2, 3, and then the other one just needs to be somewhere like diagonal to it so let's just say here there we go now what me and my friends did for this is when we first put this in and connected the antenna it said higher altitude required so we just built a giant tower up it was just really baffled why this wasn't working anyway this is what you need a setup similar to this. You can might be able to be a bit more lenient with this, but roughly something similar to this. Once you've achieved this, it's mat it's a matter of getting there. Where you would need to obviously sail in the direction it's indicating with uh, a sail and uh, using a streamer to determine the wind direction. You need to be careful because it takes it took me multiple batteries to get there. You might be able to pull out the battery and put the battery back in to save its power. And that, that is something you might be able to do. But I will warn you that when I was doing it, the the wind was pushing in my direction, like in front of me. And where that island was, was my destination. And it was actually pushing me away from it. And this thing reset. So be careful. Maybe get an extra battery just in case. Um and on top of your necessary tools. When you get close to the um, actual place you need to go, don't abandon your raft. Actually try to dock it there first. Um, I'm not going to bother showing the actual ending part because it's not a cutscene or anything and it's more of a thing for you to look at yourself. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, yeah, generic YouTuber outro or something. <laughs>